G'day, well I'm just going to head off to the grocery store. I'm about to make a list up. Um, there are new regulations in the stores, so we're going to see how that affects us. This is it. This is all we ever do. <laughs> Groceries. <Yes. laughs> Hello again. We are going to attempt to do our shopping with the new rules and regulations. Yep. So, the are they actually rules or just a recommendation? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But we can't see from where we're parked here whether there are people lined up outside the store or not. But apparently there are limits as to how many people can actually be in the store now. And if there's too many, you have to queue outside and wait. I can't... Can you see anyone queued? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. We might be lucky and we might be allowed in. We'll, we'll see. Um, the other rule is... Um, oh. The other rule is um, shopping alone, preferably. But that's just not going to work for us clearly we have more to buy so um that would be I'm, very I'm, interesting i'm bringing i'm bringing this gal with me <laughs> <laughs> clearly in incognito in her bright sunshine yellow today yes. <laughs> nobody will see her at all yeah. <laughs> then they want you to shop within 30 minutes okay so in and you've out. Heard of speed dating this is like speed shopping i should have worn flat flat shoes half an hour <laughs> sports shoes ready yeah, boy. go <laughs> i don't think that that's possible but we we are going to shop as fast as we can we can try, we can try but i don't think it's going to happen we've got a list made they said for people to have a list made so you know obviously we always have a list made um I don't know about the limits of products in there. Still, we will check when we go in so we don't fill up trolleys and have to put things back. I want normal life back. <laughs> it's so much easier. <laughs> so much easier. Uh, I'm a little bit over thinking about food and menus and groceries and what you can buy, when you can buy. Doesn't it yes. get exhausting? Mm. Really super exhausting. So, anyway, let's go and grab a trolley each, and we will see. Hopefully, we don't have two Q. Next minute. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there's a fair few people going, so we're going to go now. Yeah. If I have to sit outside, I want a coffee. <laughs> free coffee in the line. Complimentary free, coffee. Free coffee and free minties for moments like these, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, let's go see what we can get. Yep. That was surprisingly good. Um, we didn't have to line up, so there was no queuing. Um, we did have to keep our distance. Shelves are surprisingly well stocked. A uh, few little things that were still missing in there, pasta, um, what else was there? Soaps and hands and Soaps, pastas. yeah, yeah. Oh. There was toilet paper. Unbelievable, <laughs> there was actually some toilet paper. So we managed to buy a, a pack and um yeah we did not do our groceries in 30 minutes uh, surprise it probably <laughs> took us an hour i think but uh, easy um but that's to be expected because there's a lot of people in our house so what's to buy for hmm, let's go home we'll give you a, a look at what we got let's go <laughs> So we were pleasantly surprised with groceries today. We managed to get quite a lot and didn't find too many restrictions at all. So we bought two lots of garlic bread because we've used a couple up out of the freezer. So we always try and replace things as we use them. There were no limits on fresh milk, which was awesome because we managed to buy eight three litre bottles of milk. And we got some, some ice blocks here for the kids 
Okay, hubby's going to be happy because these were a two for a price offer. So he's got two lots of green milk, other flavoured milk, some sour cream that we will use with some jacket potatoes, and we needed cream so that we can make a potato bake. Afternoon tea, we bought some more yogurts for the kids. Again, we put that with some fruit salad or some fresh fruit. Two lots of sliced ham. They're for sandwiches, for lunches. Tonight we're going to be having chicken for dinner, so we will put it with some coleslaw pasta salad. This is mum's. <laughs> this is really yummy. If you haven't tried this, this is really good. Makes a great lunch. So we've got some mini dim sims, and then over here we've bought some spring rolls. We'll do that with rice and a sweet and sour sauce. Again, there were no limits on meat today, which was amazing. So we bought two lots of chicken breasts, two lots of drumsticks, four lots of mints. Normally use about a kilo and a half per meal in this household. We bought some sandwich steak. We're going to be making some steak sandwiches for dinner one night. So that just makes it really easy. We've got some chicken nuggets, three boxes, and some pizzas. Managed to get some home brand cornflakes, which the kids actually prefer. So we've got two boxes of those, one muesli, and one mighty grain. Okay, have you ever tried Lipton iced tea? Lemon one. That's my favourite. <laughs> it's really, really yummy. Um, and then I bought six bottles of lemonade. Um, on a Sunday night when we have dinner together, that's when we have our soft drink. So we were pretty much out. So we've stocked up again on that. We've got loaves of bread here and a breadstick for dinner tonight to go with the coleslaw pasta salad and the hot chickens. It's Easter time, so guess what you need? Hot cross buns. Some fruit free, some with fruit. The kids don't really mind either way, but we bought six of those because they are just awesome. So we bought two big bottles of cooking oil. There we've got some bin liners as well. So for toiletries we got two bottles of bubble bath. We only needed one bottle of conditioner. Some nail polish remover, deodorant, pegs. Now, <laughs> a few years back my son bought me lots and lots of bags of pegs for it was either my birthday or Mother's Day. I think it might have been Mother's Day. But since then, um, yeah, the kids like to play with these when they make forts and, you know, drag all the blankets out and, and make cubby, cubby houses for themselves so they get broken. So, replacing those. We've got some toothpaste, some more cotton buds, some cotton balls and some razors. And look, the holy grail of grocery shopping, toilet paper. <laughs> there was actually stock on the shelf. Still limited to just one packet per transaction. So I'm happy that we've got some toilet paper. Now, a few snacks, fruit sticks, some shapes for the kids. One teeny tiny packet of only six, whoops, only six little chocolate bars. We do have some more of these, so we will be putting those together for the kids as a treat. There were limits on the long life milk. We had used a couple up recently, so we are replacing those. And we got some long life custard. Okay, one bag of sugar. They actually did have a little bit of stock on the shelf of that, which was great. We've got some sauce, so sweet chili, tomato, and a couple of barbecue sauces. 
We've got a mustard down here because we used that up the other day when we had hot dogs. We've got tartare sauce, garlic aioli, mayonnaise and seafood sauce because we eat a lot of fish around this time of year so that's to go with that. So we bought two jars of special burger pickles. Haven't tried these before but they look like the bread and butter pickles that we normally buy. So we bought those and we managed to get two packets of pasta. That was the limit so that's what we bought. So we've got some spreads, so we've some peanut butter here and the family pack of Nutella because the kids really love that. Okay, I actually bought gelatin. I've never had it before, I've never used it in cooking before, but my mother-in-law has sent me a recipe that I'm going to try. So if it's a success, you will hear about it. If it's not a success, you'll never hear about the gelatin again, okay? <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that. Not sure. Okay, so we bought a couple of tins of fruit salad, found some corn. Corn seems to be a little bit spare on the shelves as well. Couldn't get home brand or generic brand at all, but this will do. We've got some, ooh, we've got some beetroot, some sliced pineapple and some tins of tuna. Now we bought some cucumbers, a couple of bags of salad. These are going to be used um, as a lunch and we will actually fill it out a little bit more with the, the iceberg lettuce. Bag of tomatoes, some, some onions, some carrots, and down here we have some potatoes, both the washed white potatoes and the brushed ones. These I'm thinking of making some potato salad with. These will just get mashed or steamed. Hot chickens here for dinner tonight. And if there's any leftovers, we will use that for sandwiches or wraps tomorrow for lunch. Then we've got some topping for ice cream. We haven't bought the tubs of ice cream. They didn't have too many in the freezer section. So we might have to go for a bit of a search for what we normally like there. We bought a couple of Madeira cakes, a couple of fruit cakes and some biscuits to go into the biscuit crate in the pantry. And folks, that's, that's it. I think that was a really successful shop. I was a bit scared about what was going to be on the shelves and about all the limits still, but I actually feel like we got everything that we needed here. Okay, we spent a grand total of $590. Not bad. There are a few products here that we would normally buy a generic brand and we got stuck buying the branded ones. So that obviously pushes the budget up a little bit. Um, but all in all, I think we did pretty good. So. We shouldn't have to think about groceries again now for another week, except for maybe a little bit of fruit and veg and some extra bottles of milk. But that's it. Let's not think about groceries again for another week. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. God bless. God bless.